In this section, we are going to be factoring trinomials. So I'm going to do several examples to show you the different things you're going to see. This first trinomial and uh, the topic of the first couple of examples, notice that there is a 1 in front of the x squared term. So that simplifies my process. When I have a 1 in front of the x squared, I just really have to consider the factors of my lasts. Remember, what we're trying to do here is we are unfoiling. And so the x squared is what I got when I multiplied my firsts together when I was foiling. So the only way to get x squared is to have an x and an x. The 30 is what I got when I multiplied my lasts together. So in the foiling process, the x squared is the firsts, the 30 is the lasts. And so this 30 gives us a clue. It is a positive 30. How can you get a positive number when you multiply? Well, there's two ways, either two positives or two negatives. And what tells us what we're going to use is the sign on this middle term. Because it is a positive 13, I am going to use two positive factors of 30. And now what remains is to determine what factors of 30 are going to add up to 13. Now, some of you out there, that's going to be a nice easy thing. Others of you, you're just going to have to do a little factor list. And so uh, the factors of 30, well, there's 6 and 5. Well, that adds up to 11. That's not right. And then there is 15 times 2. That adds up to 17. There is 1 and 30. That's not right. And then we stumble upon the right answer, 3 and 10. Since both factors are positive, it does not matter at all what order you throw them down here. So I'm going to put x plus 10 and x plus 3. And again, as always, remember when factoring, just re-multiply. My outers are 3x, my inners are 10x, and that gives me my 13x here in the middle.